You bastards keep asking for it. I'll give it to you. View. VSC view. This is my uh, my fancy little profile that I made. I will upload that somewhere. Uh, probably Dropbox. Check the video description. I just haven't uploaded it yet. But aside from that, I'm kind of I'm distracted. I'm captivated by. It's like I'm making googly eyes. But no, I just wanted to show you um, how to make your own theme in VSC View. It's really not that complicated. So I, I use Affinity Photo, which just as an aside is a fantastic Photoshop replacement. I kind of personally, I, I'm just I'm going Adobe free on my new computer as much as I can. So really, what I started with. So this is the default. And you can find that if you go, just go to wherever you have VSC view installed. This probably right here. You're gonna go into themes. You should have default. That's probably the only one. These other ones were uh, playing around with other stuff. Like I have a wood grain one that looks like my airbrushed controller. But that's really all there is to it. I just opened this base PNG and started tweaking from there. Now, for the placement, <laughs> that was a little tricky. Like, I didn't want my things up here. Like, I have the clicks. Uh, let's... There. Like, I changed trigger click is there. I put the grips down here, bumpers there. That was just really a whole hell of a lot of experimentation by opening up these JSON files. Actually, if, whatever you would edit in all, you would also want to edit in the no gyro just so it's consistent. But I just edited this with Notepad Plus. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then it's really just finding the X, Y coordinates of these and fiddling around. But then, you know, accounting for the 314 for X and 302 for the Y. So it's not going to match up like you can see here on the bottom right down there. So like here we have X 343 for like face buttons. So X74 plus the 314, you know, 380, whatever. So like, you, you just have to calculate it like that. <laughs> but hey, I'm, you're talking to an art major, so this JSON file was a headache, but I finally tweaked it around, got it to where I wanted it. But if you just want to reskin the one that he has, or even if you download mine and you like my placement, but you want to give it a different look, you all you have to do is just save this. This is your base PNG. And then the different buttons. And I, for mine, I also tweaked. I made some of these brighter. All of them have been tweaked a little bit, just so they're more... Uh, more obvious because mine is transparent but that it's that that's it <laughs> it doesn't have to be long and complicated i also tweaked the uh the gyro one a little bit i just that gyro these are the shadows that try to make it look like uh it's moving around and the stick so you just save those and then You know, you're going to have your basic. Let's move this over here. Go to theme. Big outline. All or no gyro. There you can see the, the shadows going over the gyro part. So you got the theme. If nothing's happening with the controller, go to controller. Mine was always the second one. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but just, you know, do whatever you need to do until it's showing your controller. And then, I guess, just since this is sort of an overall 
guide to get it infinity windows to get it into OBS. It's just a window. Go to add add a window capture, and that's it. And then, um, well, I guess if you wanted to adjust, if you wanted to adjust this, just click on it. Click on it. You can make it larger, smaller. It should automatically scale, so you don't have to hold shift or anything to get it tilted like that. I just did right click transform edit transform then the rotation you just add I did 15 you know, 0 whatever you want do I really need to go for anything else I mean you can you can see what I did I just pretty much made my own uh, controller outline here that art degrees pay it off kind of looks like crap because we're zoomed in but when it's at 100%, it looks fine. Yeah, that's... Here's all the meat behind what I did. Bunch of circles. Curves, lines. I think this was... Yeah, I think that's one that I just got from the Steam documentation. I turned it into an outline, but it wasn't thick enough. So then I just used it as a guide to make my own and you just make sure you have that hidden export as a PNG and make sure it's called you know base PNG that's all there is to it but yeah I know I, not a, a whole lot of you probably aren't so interested in making your own you just <laughs> you just want mine you sons of bitches but no i'll share it it's silly of me to hoard it i didn't make vsc view and i'm very thankful for that utility that's made recording a lot easier so yeah that's it all right i will see you around